Legacy Volleyball Club. Uh, today we're going to go to work on arm swings. We want to actually show you one of the tools that we made here uh, that we're going to use um, and it's called a penny ball. And what we've done with this tennis ball is we've taken it and we've cut in a slit. You can see my kids are characters. They actually turned it into a mouth. And inside of there we actually filled it with pennies. Uh, so we've created a weighted ball. So when you see us doing these programs today and we're using this weighted ball, um, it's not just a tennis ball, a light tennis ball. It's actually a heavy weighted ball that we're going to use with some of our programs. And uh, we've recruited Brady Lindstrom here to help us with our arm exercises today. All right, today, so the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to stretch out. And we're going to actually be working on the muscles on the back side of our shoulders. So Brady's going to lay down here with his shoulders um, really perpendicular to the ground. And what he's going to do is he's, he's got his arms sitting here. He's going to put pressure with his left hand on his right hand. His left arm is going to be pushing down while his right hand is pushing back up. So you can see he's giving himself force here as we're taking a look at it. And he's getting the, the muscles in the back side of his shoulder. Go ahead and relax. All right. And let's do it again. So he's pushing down. And he should feel all of the pressure in the back part of his shoulder here as he's doing the stretch on the back side. The second part of the stretch, we're going to actually take our hand and put it on the inside of the wrist. And now Brady's going to try to force his palm down to the ground while holding with his other hand. We're going to hold it and we're going to stretch. Hold it for a good 10 count and then go ahead and relax. And then we're going to do it again. So his hand is going to be there and we're going to push for 10 and that's going to be part of our stretch. All right, and so after we get the stretch done, Brady's going to get the weighted ball in his hand. And he's going to work on his rotator cuff by taking that ball and moving it forward and back in a nice, slow fashion and work on building that rotator cuff up. Probably just went a little too far down there. Now go all the way back the other way to the ground. Good, and then back up and through. So we're working on this rotator cuff motion with the weighted ball that he has in his hand. And getting to about a 45 degree angle is about a good spot. Yep, good right there. Keep going. All right, and so we're gonna rep those out and we're gonna do uh, three sets of 10 with those uh, after we're done stretching out. So three sets of 10 and then we're gonna also switch arms as we do it. All right, so Brady's gonna work on his arm swing here now. So after he goes through his rotator cuff pieces, we're gonna work on this arm swing piece. And what we wanna watch here is that his hips are gonna go first and then his shoulder and then his elbow getting forward, all right? And so as we're watching this, Brady's gonna do the first few in super slow motion. So it's gonna be his hip, his shoulder, and now his elbow. And when you do this with your elbows, you wanna make sure that your arm stays high and your elbow stays forward, right? And that's really the key piece when we go to hit is that we get our elbow forward so our hand finishes. If our elbow stays on the side like this, we're gonna be using all just rotator external stuff that we were doing that we were just working on, right? And that's what we wanna stay away from. So we warm and, and strengthen those muscles up, but we also wanna stay away from that as we're going to do our arm swing. So it's our hips turn, then our elbow goes first, and then we finish out. Good. Going again, hips, nice and slow, slow motion, hip turn, elbow, hand finish high, and we get the snap, all right? As we get going with it, we'll then speed it up and we'll do some reps of it going faster. So it'll be hip, elbow, snap, good, quick. And we want that nice high hold at the end off of it. Hip hold, good. The weighted ball is gonna let you really, really feel your arms and let you feel those shoulders and swings. And again, that important piece is his hip here. The hip turn, hand go, finish high motion with it. Draw back, hip high, hand finish up as we go through. Good. All right, so getting in this position here, we wanna work on getting this arm up because when we go with our arm swing, the next piece once we're in this jump is that we're gonna take this elbow back as we rotate our hips and get into this position right here of driving our elbow back. So if our hands never get high to this position here, our drawback on our elbow is not gonna stay high. If our hands only get up to say our head right here, the drawback stays low, go ahead and draw back. The drawback stays low and therefore it's really, really tough to get that shoulder forward and we stay here. So in our arm swings, we really wanna get those hands up as high as, I, as we can when we go to jump so then we can draw that arm back and get that elbow forward to make our snap off of this. So we're gonna do an exercise here that's gonna help with that. Brady's gonna actually use some weights. <clears throat> and we're gonna use some weights in this video as we go to do it and just kind of get into that position with our weights. Go ahead. So he's got about five pound weights, one, two, and he's driving those hands up. He doesn't even have to add the jump to it. 
Okay, so it's just gonna go back one, two, drive those arms up, right? And we're getting to that position of doing it with the weights here. So step one, two, drive up and hold those arms up high as we can. So if we don't have weights available, you guys can actually do this with water bottles to give you some type of weight to work on that motion. So go ahead, Brady, with the water bottle. So it's the same thing. So instead of weights, he's just driving water bottles up. And again, one, two, good. So for this one, we're gonna use the tennis ball and we're gonna use the weight and we're gonna stay on the ground for this as we go. And Brady's just gonna walk through his approach and then finish the arm swing with the tennis ball. Good, except we want both hands to get up as high as they can in front of us. So step one, two, high hands, then draw back, good. Right there, nice finish. Let's do another one of those. Down, back, up, high hand finish. Again, we gotta work on that, both hands getting up every time. Back up, yep, and draw back, snap, good hold. Again, notice that he's using his hips to turn, up, hip turn, snap holds, good. So the next piece in the progression, we're gonna ask Brady to add a quarter turn in here. So he's gonna get his hips uh, moving and add kind of a little hop with a quarter turn. So next piece, one, two, hip turn, finish. Good, we're even looking for some more hip turn on that and getting that left turn up. Back up, good, nice hold off of that. Back up, good. So not really a lot of hip turn on that. We wanna get some hip coordination. Let's do one more here. <clears throat> Hip turn, good, nice hold. All right, so as we go to do these, we're looking to do uh, the jumping reps. We Again, we wanna get three sets of 10 of the jumping reps as we go through it. So we do 10 and we take a break. The most important piece is we're working on that hip turn as we go through. So we're getting up and we're jumping and working on that hip turn. Let's do one more right here. Step one, two, good. Still not a lot of hip turn off of that. We wanna get that hip turn working and going with this. So this next workout piece that we're gonna do here, uh, you can use again with water bottles or you can add weights, three to five pound weights uh, and build up as you go forward. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna go side, right? And we're gonna get 10 of them in. So we're just raising up nice and slow, up and down. And after we get to 10 off of this number, we're gonna go to front raises. Good, and front raises nice and slow. We're going with 10 of them. And we're doing all of this in a row again. And then next we're gonna go to V raises. So we actually hold our palms, or our thumbs facing up, and we're gonna go to V raises off of that. So they come to the middle, and then we make a V. Come to the middle, and then make a V. There we go, right there. Come to the middle, make a V. Good. And then the next one, all in a row, again, we're doing 10 of each. We're gonna go a front raise with the draw back and pull. So we're gonna do a front raise. We're gonna raise them all the way up and then a draw back and pull and snap. Good. Front raise, up, pull and snap. Make sure we get that front raise all the way up here. Front raise, pull and snap. And then we're gonna actually do it with our left arm as well, right? So we're gonna get this going on both sides. So go ahead, front raise, pull back and snap. Definitely right-handed here, that's okay. Go ahead, do it again. Front raise, pull back and snap. I want them pulling up high. The same thing, finish high with your left hand. Pull back, left hand finish. Good, nice job. Front raise, pull back, snap. This is Brady Lindstrom. Thank you for joining us on Technical Tuesday.